Hey, I'm Nick Half Long Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 23 Lions. This is episode 81. Really, it's going to be down to a, probably a last ditch effort. This is maybe our latest, greatest chance at succeeding, at getting some sort of victory here at the Giro. It's currently uh, stage number 16. Four climbs along the way, including three back to back to back difficult climbs on the way to a descent finish. Getting in the breakaway today is hugely important. Yet, at the moment, I don't have a rider in the breakaway. At the moment. I've already tried three times to get someone in the breakaway. But at the moment, the breakaway of eight, which is loaded with strong riders looking to get in that breakaway, which means the expectation is that the breakaway is probably going to win the stage today and these are the best of the best going for that which is going to make it incredibly difficult which means one rider in the breakaway has no chance we are inferior in every way we're not going to win if i only get one rider out there if i get two the chances increase from impossible to highly unlikely if i can get three though now we're talking now we're cooking so i need to get three guys in the breakaway <laughs> you know w wish me luck such a difficult task especially today which is why i'm on pause why we're still at the beginning of the stage this is the most important breakaway of this tour this is the one that this is the stage that has the right profile the competition though clearly see it and they've been all over it our entire team I immediately went effort up right off the bat from kilometer zero and yet I still have riders struggling to reach the front of the field tempos high the entire team is fatigued already especially the couple of guys that we've already tried to attack with I've picked out who my three are going to be that I'm trying to get in the breakaway today Big task, difficult task, but trying to go all in on this stage. This just feels like the stage that can be a big breakaway victory that we could have success with. But we have to really, really stack the deck in our favor. A Shimway. Zero race day condition, but that's certainly okay. Samuels, plus one race day condition. Again, not fantastic, but, you know, pretty okay. It's a good draw fatigue is kicking in it's the final week of the tour there's a lot of negatives on the expected race take edition we've got a good draw today but nuna doesn't he's got a minus five you had a stalic has a minus two but overall as a team it's a net positive with the ex expectation is a net negative that's that's a win i mean we we've had terrible terrible draws most days so this is this is really our best chance and that's why i'm like <laughs> okay um can we do it third guy arab arab finally getting a chance arab is da -da -da -da, on a plus three but with a 59 percent fitness level he's so close to breaking into 60 getting into that next tier where the 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 negatives are not as bad i mean this is still essentially a wash it's, it's pretty much a zero draw so we're looking at two zeros and a plus one for our three guys that we're trying to get in the break Mullabron <laughs> if I can get four uh, I'll, I'll take Mullabron with them to to do the dirty work as he's on a plus five I mean that this is an opportunity Mullabron's still one of the two guys coming up from the back but you can actually see Mullabron has finally just about made it into the group he's not made it up to that position where we're like okay sit up it's tied you're good he's still coming through but he's got a 76 mountain 80 hills rating today i mean that that could be very handy when we're trying to break off from others but i think re the reality of the triple climb is going to be outlasting uh other climbers medium mountain and and otherwise the breakaway it's not been going anywhere. Jumbo Visma is going deep to uh, keep them in check. But the one rider that they're using to uh, chase it down, Merritt, you, you can see just how bad those shoulders are sagging. So he alone is keeping the group 
at bay. They they're, they have not been pulling away, but it's also not uh, a matter of us pulling them back either. In fact, they've you know eked out a few seconds here and there, and we hit the base of the climb. This is going to be the time where you want to attack. Oh, big acceleration. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see, Mullabron still hasn't gotten forward. Johannes Dalek finally making his way up here. We're, we're talking 77, folks, and not making it. So now 80. We're already under the first climb of the day. This is going to really, really wear into some of these guys. And the gap, uh, that little acceleration did not last. But here comes a second Jumbo Visma rider. Should keep it in check. We're going to have to attack one way or another before this climb gets too far. But uh, that front group, that hard push, has finally... Uh, resulted in the first rider getting dropped which means they are losing some firepower but we saw that there's you know like four incredible riders there and this looks like a maybe they're sitting up kind of moment i'm not liking the uh fitness levels at the moment but we have got to try so forward for those four mullabron's already in position mullabron back off a little bit Okay, there's Samuels, there's a Shimwe. Where's Arab? There's Arab. Okay. Ready, set. This seems like as good a place as any. Let's see what happens. What's the response like? Four riders on the attack. <laughs> Will they let us go? We're not a threat, right? Yes! Oh, they sat up. Okay. Nobody has responded as of yet. Uh, let's go ahead and... Is there anything to protect? <laughs> There's no one here. Uh, we're just going to set these four guys on auto. Okay, and you guys have already escaped. Let's go around the corner. Oh, yeah, you're about to bridge the gap, so let's, let's bridge the gap. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and look at, look at what's happened to this front group. This is uh, really increasing the odds that something good can happen okay settle in work together there's two riders left ahead of us could it be that we end up being the breakaway today plus you know one or two riders the bear last one is popio and we're leaving them all behind <laughs> and there is no response i mean this is uh Samuels got dropped. I don't care. I do not care, Samuels. If three guys go clear and the gap sits up and those three guys go clear and, and the field doesn't chase particularly hard, those three guys are going to go off and claim potentially a 1-2-3. Now, I do still want... Um, a Shimway could wait for Samuels and maybe the two of them could claw back the other two. No. Arab, backing off a little bit more. Gaps out to four minutes on the peloton, so that 30 seconds is now four minutes. Now we are all over the road, but we are the front four. The whole idea right now is to open a gap on the peloton, but also be a unit without chasers. This could be... This could be, that could be the move. Samuels, just keep going as deep as you can to try to catch up. If anything, I would love to get the four back together. Nice KOM points, but not what we're here for. Okay, Arab, I want you to wait for Molabron. Gap holding at five minutes, and we are recovering some firepower. We've got a long ways to go to the next one. This is not a solo job at this point. Uh, we've now got three guys waiting for Samuels, maybe. Samuels going just as hard as he can until we get it all together. It is allowing the uh, Peloton to come back a little bit at us for now. But they're only going to want to come back so far. And there's one rider a further minute behind. And once we have all four guys, we really don't 
want to set up anymore at that point. So Samuels is nearly there. Samuels is nearly there, and he is there. Let's go ahead and have a Shimwe get water. Never mind the four at the back. We are racing just entirely with these guys. So we have a minute 15 gap over three riders left in between that are now the No Man's Land chase group. The effort right now is allowing for a lot of recovery, which is what we need, though it is allowing the Peloton to come back at us rather quickly, but we need energy. Like, otherwise, there's, you know, there is no recovery. So for now, uh, we keep the downhill nice and easy, and there you go, that recovery is on. <sighs> Let's try a 66. Those three might come back at us, which might not be a terrible thing. They definitely have been pushing, and there you go. They they do push. Now, none of them want to work, or they do. Uh, let's now pick, uh, like, Arab and Mullabrun, the freshest to sit on. Samuels was not looking great, so a Shimwe Samuels to do work, and there you go. That's seems to be doing the trick. I mean, it's four versus three. I, th I think we can handle these guys. The extra firepower could and should help us, as long as they decide to contribute a little bit. Okay, the effort level, we're going just a little high for their liking. Gap 248 ahead of the peloton. Let's see if they let us open that back up. Gap's coming down. They're not too big of a fan, but we're on the flat for now. As long as we can keep a gap of two and a half minutes or more, when we hit the climbs, we can open things up. 135k to go on the stage. It's not that long of a stage. Gap holding. Every time we start to open it, they close it. Every time they close it, they sit up a little bit. So gap is just maintaining not worried about the seconds here though we just gave away all three seconds to them <laughs> even though we've got four of the seven riders here okay in again a shimwe go ahead and get the water de villiers attacked what the heck? Is he trying to come up and support us? <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay. They're most of the way back up there. And meanwhile, De Villiers has been joined by McNulty. And McNulty two in the work they're two minutes ahead i don't like the idea of mcnulty getting up here but it's going to drain him a lot to get here and there is one of the riders dropped store dang that's quality right there and he is not able to hang on so he's dropped by mullabron and arab right away and they are back in there you go decrease the effort these guys have wasted so much energy they were the ones that were supposed to be sitting on but now they're the ones that uh Gonna have to do the work. Steep. Very steep. 4K. Meanwhile, De Villiers hanging on. Store getting dropped. McNulty still pulling De Villiers along, but he's about to get dropped by McNulty. And now it's just McNulty chasing. Peloton back to five minutes behind now. 2K to go on this climb. Samuels is hanging on. But Mullabron, Arab, Shimwe all looking a little bit weak. The bear is getting dropped. Shimwe and Arab still there. At this point, the guy who was ahead before is again. Samuels hanging on to his wheel. LeBron nearly in contact. We will not work when we've got two teammates just behind. Make him do the work. And we're back together.
Arab is kind of contributing, but not really. It's McNulty doing... Actually, it's not McNulty right now doing the work. And it's back together. Okay, seven riders. Four and a half minutes. But we have issues when it comes to uh, energy. Arab is looking the weakest, so go ahead and get the water. 10k. Hard climb. Very little energy. But now you've got a favorite in McNulty, so now he's kind of forced into gel for Arab, and we're going to protect who's now <laughs> looking the strongest after all of that. It's Samuels. He is the GC guy after all, anyway. We're almost halfway up this climb, and we're up to a six and a half minute gap with a now shrinking Peloton. And the first rider is dropped. Early enough, he will not be seen again. He He's going to be long, long gone. Especially without anyone else dropping with him. He's going to be well behind. Arab is going to lose contact. He's a bit closer to the top, but I'm not sure we're going to see him again. He has lost contact. 4K to go. He's a, over a minute ahead of... Uh, the chasing guy and just go 99 go as fast as you can on the climb I doubt he's gonna be in contact a uh, Shimway is also gonna get dropped here so it's gonna be a two-on-two McNulty's the worrying one but if we could make those guys do the work you never know right and a uh, Shimway is actually kind of hanging on here he's not that far behind if we can get Arab and a uh, Shimway back up there four on two you you gotta like our odds on the final climb especially if we have a healthy gap uh banuna cloat johannes dalek all dropped and well behind they are 12 and a half minutes down villiers is just ahead of them after trying to get up here but never making that contact a shimwe just over 1k to go not too far behind it's 40 seconds though oh oh, oh that is an attack that is an attack last 800 meters Probably going for the KOM. I'm wondering. Points had six, had 27. Top nine. I don't think this is just a matter of going for the stage, but we have got to protect and we have got to climb these last 800 meters. And Mullabron's going to go take the maximum points and then Samuel's second. Nice. <laughs> And we're back with them. Okay. We're going to sit on, though. We're not working with two teammates just behind. Shimway a little ways back, though. That gap definitely opened. Uh, 24 seconds. Wait for Arab. You're definitely going to be better going together. There we go. Now, you two got to try to recover but we also got to try to cover a minute and a half gap and I'm just not sure that's gonna happen very well but these two are just gonna sit on and make them work the Peloton's five minutes behind with riders attacking near the top but is that because they're going for the KOM Mullabron 89 KOM points Mullabron how many points was there at the top of that climb? 50! That was a 50 point climb! Holy crap. Mullabron's leading the king of the mountains. Okay, minute 41. 440 ahead of three riders, which are Hamilton, Umbi, Lebert. The breakaway guy who is with us, plus two other regular breakaway guys. And then Storer. And then there's your 46 left in the peloton. Uh, well over six and a half minutes back, which means... Breakaway. That breakaway up the road there might just do it. But these two are going to have a hard time trying to uh, be part of that. But... The wonderful thing about the two of them not being far back is that these two don't have to work. Because those two know 
Then I've got two teammates just behind. Why would we work? Why would we contribute? Because normally, group of four, those two riders are going to sit there and go, hey, there's two of you, and make one of our riders do all of the work. But we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that because we've got these guys right here. Unfortunately, Ashimwe is done. That's it. Put him on auto. Arab still trying to get up there. He's only a minute behind. Last downhill section, though, before this final climb. He's gotten within 45 seconds, but... Man. It, it's still, it's been very good having him here. Alright, for now, they're working. I'm happy. We will have to attack before the top, though. We've got to drop these guys. But it's still 8k to go. And McNulty's going to be freaking tough. But he's the one doing the work. That's given us a chance. But look how tired Samuels and Mullerbron are. Mullerbron, 6k to go. Gel. Arab. Nothing in the tank. Going as hard as he can. Ashimwe's back in the peloton which is 42 riders. This gap's coming down. They're they're done. This this is it. This is where you attack both riders. Can we attack and leave them behind? No. I don't like how much energy he has. And they're attacking us instead. By Damn. 2K from the top. Samuels is just 30 seconds behind. But he's behind. <laughs> McDulty. Too damn strong. He's only a 74 mountain, which means he's a 78 mountain. But he's got a really strong medium mountain. He's got to be in much better shape than we are because he rode so solo a long time. Hello, Glog. 12 riders left in the peloton just behind us here. Samuels is sitting on recovering, but it's a minute and a half to McNulty. So close. <laughs> If he had a positive race day condition, it says he's got a plus one, but I mean, all he's got is a stamina and resistance plus one. That's all he's got. Samuel's just hanging on here. 6K to go. That was the last flat section. We still had the energy. Uh, hang on there, buddy. Hang on there. We're just hanging on. We have nothing for the sprint. 1K to go. The win is definitely not happening. McNulty's got that. Can we get on the podium? <laughs> Can't even get that. It's another fourth place. Nineteenth for Molebron. It's gonna be really good for the GC though. There is that. It's gonna move us up the standings quite a bit. Arab gets thirty-eighth on the stage. <sighs> Still didn't even squeeze onto the podium. Not that the podium would have made any difference other than a couple more points. We got fourth. It was a freaking awesome race. Uh, it was this close. If McNulty didn't attack, two things are possible. <clears throat> two outcomes at that point are possible. If M McNulty doesn't attack before the first cat one, the, the triple climb at the end of this race. One, we don't have enough firepower without McNulty. We didn't finish that far ahead of Peloton at all. Right, I mean, technically, Samuels was caught by Gloke right at the end, who attacked for KOM points on that final climb, or presumably. So we were caught and passed anyway, right? But we were also trying to attack McNulty, so we wasted energy trying to attack twice. Well, not attack once and follow and attack the second time. So managed more closely, 
maybe we don't run out of energy. Maybe we're further up the road than as a result, and Glow doesn't catch us. So in one theory, without McNulty, we don't have enough firepower. We're caught by the Peloton anyway. Theory number two, without McNulty there, we drop Pupio much earlier, and Samuels and Mullabron take a one-two with Arab and Ashimwe doing the you know, doing the dirty work to drop Popio and they drop with him. And then they are the ones caught by, you know, your Glogue or a couple other riders right at the very end. So either we get caught and passed and finish further down, or or it would have been a stage win. So McNulty, hell of a ride from him. He deserved the stage. Too damn good. He covered that gap and then just kept riding on. I mean how strong. How strong. We we just don't have that kind of firepower, even protecting guys. But then again, l look at where we're at recovery-wise this late in the race. So Samuels, minute 33. McNulty was a minute 22 up at the finish. We were 16 seconds ahead of the peloton, which was a small group. But LeBron was just behind that. This is going to move us up the standings a fair bit. Samuels was 24th entering this stage 16. He's still outside of the top 20. Jeez. 26-15 <laughs> down. Gained one position. Shimway's 32nd. McNulty's up one position to 18th, by the way. Venipole Palace. Moss. Big gaps start to open at Hindley, so there's maybe six, maybe five riders left in contention with a handful of stages to go. My oh my, though. Globe 12th. McNulty! <laughs> that KOM, Mullabron, had it temporarily after the All's Cat climb. McNulty grabs it after the final climb. He was after some KOM points. Simple Veda, down to third. Venipole, down to fourth. Popio up to fifth. Samuels, Arab, They've got a good amount of points. We have a chance at the KOM based on the stages to come, assuming that there's some big climbs still out there. Uh, maybe that's what we need to be shifting our focus to now for the points that come with that. Mullabron in particular. He's almost there, but it's a relatively small gap to Samuels. Arab, who hasn't been in a single break, just came out of nowhere, and now he's got 56 points. Funny thing is the only rider who didn't change positions in the standings was a Shimwe. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. That was a one-stage episode. Sorry about that. Uh, that was a lot of action. That was a lot of action for one stage. We went all in, and damn it, we were close. We were so close. The McNulty thing. He was so strong. His mountain rating's not that great. That's the shocking part. How, how did he climb like that? Did he climb at a 90? Did he have... I feel like he had to have had like plus four, plus five on the day to, to pull off what he did. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of fading here. I suppose that's a good time to wrap this up then. I'm a Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.